Yeah, I've read a lot of stuff about when the wolves were as thick in the West after the cattlemen come in, there's a lot of wolf damage, you know. And them cowboys could catch them and and they, they had a bounty on them also. A lot of times the hides were worth something if it was in the winter. A lot of times the cowboys wanted to go trap them. They're called wolvers. But that picture in particular, they'd run onto this wolf and roped him. And I've read that from stories and guys wrote that when they weren't too bad to rope, you could catch a wolf pretty easy. You could ride up on them pretty easy. Had a good horse. But once you roped him, you wanted to dally and ride off and drag him to death because he'd bite your rope in half. Or bite it off right there at the hondo, you know, where he could reach around. They just bite a, a rawhide rope right in half. Just bang them. Nice way they could on a, a manila rope, too. Could bite them right in half. So that picture there, just a couple of cowboys caught this wolf out in the open and roped him, and he's got him caught, and he's turning off. He's dallying and riding off. Is the idea of my whole picture. It gave me the idea when I was reading the story that guy told, you know. And they said wolves just kind of loped along, and you could catch them up with them horseback. But if you miss, they just kept on the same speed. Pretty soon you'd run on a horse, and they'd just keep it going, loping off. After they came in and destroyed all the buffalo in the western United States and brought in cattle, cattle came in by the thousands, literally the thousands, and the wolves were still there. They knew there was nothing to eat but cattle. The buffalo were gone. At the time the buffalo was here, there were millions of them. Just feed for wolves everywhere. Now they're down to eating beef. They don't know the difference. You know, they, so, of course, cattlemen will always be cattlemen. They were protecting their cattle because that was dollars and cents. And so they paid to have the wolves destroyed, shot or whatever. Well, they were fun for the cowboys' rope. Cowboys didn't care whether they were there or not. They were fun to rope and they were fun to trap and they made money selling them. And it looked like there'd never be no end to them anyway. Nobody wanted them around at that time. And, uh, you know, it's just the way it is in life. I, I, I don't have, you know, I got feelings for everything, but I don't, under, I don't, uh, I understand that period of time are different periods of time. You know, it, it's, it was terrible what the Europeans did when they come out west. They killed all the wildlife. And captured all the horses and ate all the grass and you know it just it was pitiful and of course we've restored it pretty good since then I'm not particularly fond about having the wolves back because they're tough on everything they're tough on elk and deer and, and your domestic animals too but the idea of the picture see I, all I ever wanted to be was a cowboy and that's what I was and you don't have to be a great bronc rider, a great rope or anything else, because you had to do, be able to do your work. And of course, there was always the fun in it. In it. That was the main thing, was the fun of doing it for your livelihood. So roping a wolf was really something. I uh, was with a friend of mine here two or three years ago, and he roped a bear right out in the open. So, it, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it was horrible, but he had a hunting license. <laughs> he roped his bear. And uh, I painted a picture of it. He still has the picture. So, you know, it's just it's just the way life is. And I know some people feel bad because they see, hate to see anything killed. But that ain't the idea of my picture. I'm not painting it to make people feel bad or good or anything. It's just the way it was. They painted it just the way it was. And I tried to make everything just as near as I could imagine or anything else, you know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel bad if they feel bad about it. That's just the way it was. There's things I feel bad about, seeing the buffalo destroyed, you know. But there was nothing I could do about it. I still paint big herds of buffalo. I paint pictures of guys killing buffalo and Indians killing buffalo. And that's the way it is. Just because you don't like it, don't change it. Don't make Nobody ever cowboyed for the wages or to become famous, 
or anything else. It was the fun of being a cowboy. It was the fun of, and it was a way to make a living. And it was a way to be somebody. No matter where you are in the world, somebody horseback is always kind of king of the roost. You ever notice? You, you, you know, you can look down on everybody when you're horseback. It's just something great. And them young guys come from back east. And that's where Charles Russell come from, was out there because they heard about the cowboys and it was, it was glamorous. It's still glamorous yet today, even what little we have left, you know. There's still people oohing and on over it. And I've had a lot of people in my lifetime ask me why I did it for a living. Well, it was just for the fun of it. That's how I made my living, was funning around, being a horseback. That's how it all comes about. There ain't no cowboy out there trying to be rich. Takes all he's got just to have it keep, if he has a family or a wife, and keep himself in saddles and ropes, and that's about the size of what he gets out of it. They'll be poor till they die, but they did what they wanted to all their life. 